always been interested in science. I've always been interested in how the human body works and fascinated with its intricacies. I decided to go into plastic surgery really because they had the most fun. There's not a spot on the human body that plastic surgeons aren't trained to operate on. One of the first people that really brought me down to earth on these missions was this lady by the name of Lucy. Lucy was a 40-year-old who was a mother of three who was burned about a year before we saw her up in the Altiplano of Bolivia outside of La Paz. Here, her hands were fused straight. Her tendons were burned. She couldn't flex or extend her fingers. Her mouth was burned open and her eyes were burned open also. But she didn't mention those. She just wanted her hands fixed so she could care for her family. Well, I was the only Spanish speaker on that mission. So it was my job to tell her that her injuries and her burns on her hands were too severe for us to fix. I said, I can do something else for you. I can help you close your eyes. And what she said to me then was, I'd like to drink liquids again. <laughs> oh, I'm getting emotional about this. Wow. So we did some skin grafts to her lips and made her close her lips again and did some to her eyes so she could close her eyes and not lose her eyesight. Probably the thing that I received most from BYU is the label that going to BYU gives you for life. Once it's known that you went to BYU, people expect a higher standard from you. They expect more honesty. They expect more giving. They expect a lot of things and they look at you a lot more. When I became aware I was receiving the award, I was a little confused. I wasn't sure they had the right guy. When I go on these surgical missions, I have as much fun as the patients are getting fixed. So I'm thankful for the award. I'm thankful for my experience at BYU. I hope you find somebody more worthy than me.